Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, we would learn how to solve the practice problem even odd sum. So first step is to understand the question. So let's do that and then we would code it. So basically, let's take an example. We are given an array. Okay, let's say 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. Okay, and the index positions for every value is 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, so basically what you need to do is you need to find the odd index position sum and even index position sum. That means I need to calculate the values which are at the even index values and I need to, you know, print the result as even sum. Okay, let's say 10, 2 and 4. Okay, so these are the three values, correct? So it is 10 plus 20, uh, 30 plus 50. Now see, I am not considering the even numbers. I am considering the even index positions for calculating the sum. Okay. So this would be, this is 40, 40 and this is 90. Okay. Similarly, I need to do the same for odd values. Okay. So the odd index positions are 20 and 40. Okay. So it would be 20 plus 40 which would give you an output as 60. So the final output would be 90 comma 60. Okay. So basically this is what you have to do. You need to find the sum of the values at odd index positions. Similarly you need to find the sum of the values at even index positions. So I hope the problem is clear to you. Now let's move forward to the solution part. What you need to do is you need to go to the practice portal. In practice portal in the difficulty section you need to choose school. Okay, after that you need to find the problem. One minute, let's find the problem even on sum. Okay, so let's find it. It should be here. Okay, here it is, right? So here is the problem even on sum. Okay, once you find the problem, you need to click on solve. Okay, so let's solve the question now. One minute. Okay, let's read the statement. Given an array, ARR square brackets of n integers, Find the sum of the values of even and odd index positions separately. Okay. So I hope the question is clear to you. Now let's solve the problem. Okay. And we would be coding it over here. Let's solve it. One minute. So basically first I am taking two values that is sum even. Okay. One minute. Sum even which is 0. And then I have sum odd which is also 0. Okay, now I need to apply a for loop on the entire array, right, in range and the range is going till the last value n, right. After this, I need to check which index positions are even and which index positions are odd, right. So, i, i is the index position. If I do the modulus with 2, that means I am trying to find the uh, remainder and if it, the remainder is 0, that means this is a even index position, right. Uh, let's say, let's do it for not value first. One minute. If the index position is not equal to 0, this means that this is an odd index position, right? So, I need to add sum odd, okay, plus equal to array, okay, and add the value at that index position, okay? Now, I need to write else, else all the remaining values are even, right? So, I need to write sum even, okay? plus equal to array i. Okay. So, I hope this much is clear to you. And finally, we just need to return with sum odd and sum even. Right. One minute. Let me go back. So, I need to return. Okay. Return with sum even. Okay. Space, comma, space, sum odd. Okay. Now, I need to check if the solution is correct or not. So, I would click on compile and run. Let's wait. Okay, let's see. The compilation is completed. And my output is matching with the expected output. So now I would submit the given problem. Okay, so let's wait. The problem is solved successfully and this is how you solve the practice problem even or sum. So I hope this video was helpful for you and you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, make sure you click on the like button and subscribe our channel. And thank you for joining me today. Thank you.